All right, let's look at a quick video this morning on the SQL Server error with replication, could not execute SP replication commands. When we're talking about the log reader here, it's important to remember that with replication, um, a, a transactional replication in this case we're talking about, this is not true with merge replication, but in transactional replication, um, the reason why it's very efficient, at least in my opinion, is because what it does is it reads from the log and marks those records that are new records for replication, right? Which is essentially what uh, the ETL queuing tables do. Uh, the difference is, is that it, it uses the built-in parts of SQL Server already, okay? So more often than not, not always, but this error indicates a permissions or owner issue, okay? So you want to check the owner of the log reader job, which is going to be in the SQL Server agent. You want to check the databases involved, and you want to check the objects involved with the permissions of the users, right? So what's the user executing the job? What's the user? Does, does it have access, for instance, to the schema? Does it have access to those tables? Does it have access to the database? Um, is the database a different owner? This is a, a big one right here. Um, and we've run into this one a lot. You take, uh, let's say, a database from production and you restore it into development, but the production owner of the database is very different than the production owner of the development database or was, but when you restore it, it now takes that production owner, right? So let's say that you have a prod SA owner, but in dev, the owner is supposed to be dev SA. See how that's going to conflict, right? So remember that when if you have a copying database process, just always keep that in mind. A big another one to keep that in mind is if your development environment you have simple recovery models, but you take a full recovery model from production to dev, <laughs> and you forget to update it to simple recovery. Some of you have had a database go offline. I mean, like it's happened to me too. Don't worry. And it's because you have to automate the process of okay, I'm going to reset this to simple when it goes into dev. Also, check the current status of the database. This, of course, is going to fail. What if the database is offline, right? I mean, it can't re read the log. Or what if it's in suspect mode or something like that? The log reader is going to fail. And then, of course, the other thing to always be careful about, and this, this is more related to like timeouts or let's say you're getting huge batches in the log and for whatever reason it can't connect to the log, is you do want to sometimes look at the, the properties of your log reader in the log reader job. Okay, so go to SQL Server Agent, find the log reader job, and then look at the properties. In some cases, you may want to optimize parameters like uh, batch size, maximum commands in a transaction, etc. Most often, this error, though, relates to a user's permission.